So good morning, everybody. Again, welcome to St. James, our virtual St. James. Um, it's lovely to see everybody. I hope all the ladies have received their little cards from um, the children in the church. And thank you to all those children who um, produced them. So we've got David is with us this morning. And David was one of the ones who produced um, uh, produced some cards. And so did Abby and Mark, Matthew. Are they around? No? So we can say thank you to all the children anyway. Um, and um, they are absolutely beautiful, the little cards. So thank you. Um, and for Agnes and Sharon in the office, who worked really hard to put all that together. So thank you. Um, so today is Mothering Sunday. And um, I hope all the mothers in the room, as it were, have had some sort of spoiling this morning um, of some description. Um, but Mothering Sunday is, is, is always slightly I always find it a slightly strange day because um, in church times, because there's a sense that, um, yes, those of us that are mums want to celebrate and be spoilt, but actually there's a whole pile of mixed emotions flying around. And uh, certainly I know that Claire's prayers, because I use them at nine o'clock this morning, really reflect that. So thank you, Claire, for your beautiful prayers that you will have later um, in the service. Um, and so however you come this morning whether you come buoyed up or whether you come feeling a little bit miserable or somewhere in between um let's come to god who is our father and mother as elements of mother motherhood within our within god so we come to a god who loves us who cares for us and who um reaches out and wants to um embrace us i love the illustration um of that jesus talks about himself as 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 a, a mother hen surrounding her chicks and that's a wonderful picture for us this morning of of god's love for us so we're going to um firstly i'm going to share a screen and we're going to have some opening words of worship this morning. So please do join in with the words in bold. Praise God who loves us. Praise God who cares. We praise you, our God, for all mothers who've loved and laughed and labored as they've cared for their children blessed be god forever for we praise you our god for all mothers who've wept in sorrow and joy for their children blessed be god forever we praise you our god for jesus born of a woman and nurtured in her love and for mary a reminder of your patient waiting love Blessed be God, be God for forever. Amen. So John's going to lead us as we sing, Lord, I come before your throne of grace. I find your presence and fullness and joy. <laughs> I come before your throne of grace. I find rest in your presence and fullness of joy. In worship and in wonder I behold your face, singing, what a faithful God have I. What a faithful God have I. What a faithful God. I'm going to forget it. Don't you? What a faithful God have I, faithful in every way. Lord of mercy, you have heard my cry. Through the storm, you're the beacon. 
my song in the night. In the shelter of your wings, hear my heart's reply, singing, What a faithful God am I! What a faithful God am I! What a faithful God! What a faithful God am I! Sovereign, granting peace from heaven. Let me comfort those who suffer with the comfort you have given. I will tell of your great love for as long as I live. Singing, what a faithful God have I. What a faithful God have I. What a faithful God. What a faithful God have I, faithful in every way. In a moment, we're going to move on to a time of confession, but I thought um, I'd ask the question this morning because we're in a slightly different um, setting than we would normally be. But I just wonder what's God up to in your lives over the last week or so? And if anybody wants to share anything that's happened to them or where they've been conscious of God, this could be horribly wrong and nobody could say anything. Or, um, but if anybody wants to share, please do unmute yourself or I can unmute or put your hand up and unmute, I'll unmute you. Frank, can you unmute yourself? Yeah, I think that uh, God has helped to uh, get everyone back to school and all the teachers and students to get ready to go back. Brilliant. Thank you, Frank. So you've had a good week at back at school. We can thank yeah. God for we can thank God for all those who've worked so hard to um, get ready, get people ready back for school. Thank you, Frank. Anybody else? Patrick. Can you unmute yourself? No. Can't you unmute them? I don't I don't think I can actually. Once you've muted, I might hold on, let me see if I can do it this way. Sorry about that. Yes, we had an unfortunate occurrence a week ago when we had a, a pipe burst beneath our cylinder and flooded us in two flats below quite seriously and couldn't get a lot of help. But strangely, we had a wonderful response from our neighbours, and mm -hmm. I, I will say a name, Agnes as well, helped us with water and our neighbours with yeah. water for the bathroom. So God really stepped in and provided help for us in that way. We're grateful. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Anybody else? Um, yep. Uh, Wendy, you need to unmute yourself because I've muted you. Uh, you know, uh, two days ago, uh, my husband, grandma, died for coronavirus. So uh, perhaps I don't want to uh, be grateful, but I want to ask God for her soul because she was a really good woman and... Uh, that was second grandma who died in two yeah. months. Uh, the second grandma of my husband who died. Okay, so, so let's well, let's pray for it's Ma, What's it's Marius, isn't it? Yes. Is your yeah. So Lord, we just pray for Marius as he grieves the loss of his grandma, and we pray for the whole family that you would surround them with your love and your peace this day. Amen. Thank you. And I think Elizabeth wanted to say something. You need to un unmute yourself, though, Elizabeth. Mm. 
No, can't hear you yet. I'm not sure why I can't unmute you. I'm not sure what's happening there. You hear me now? Yes, we've got it. Well done. Lovely. It's just that I just want to thank the good Lord for the wonderful spring weather we've been having. And although I keep having nosebleeds, which are a wretched nuisance, um, I just want to thank the good Lord for the lovely spring weather. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I think there's some really lovely things um, when we go, you go outside and you see the flowers and the trees. There's lots and lots for us to thank God for. Thank you for sharing. Um, sharing. It's so, somehow it seems easier to share in this setting than it would do if we were um, in a church and I was standing at the front and you were all looking at me. Um, uh, and uh, thank you. Claire's just commented. She said, I've just wanted to say that I felt God close to me this past week, especially as my journeys are getting busier and anxiety levels rise. I can imagine that as you journey on the bus every day, Claire. So um, thank you. Thank you all for sharing. And we come now to a time of confession and, 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 and particularly on, on Mother's Day, um, we are perhaps conscious of the fact that we don't always live um, our lives as God um, intended us to. And there are times when we fail miserably as parents, perhaps those were the parents, or as children. Um, we're all children of somebody uh, and uh, or have failed. And so we come now to God who is able to, who loves us and, it, and forgives us. So I'm going to share a prayer, some prayers, um, and um, we join in with the words in bold again. So let us call to mind our sin, our failure to value the love of others and our failure to love as Christ has loved us. Your love gives us life from the moment of conception. We fail to live as your children. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You call us to do good. We seek our own good. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You hear us when we cry for help. We ignore the cries of others. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. So may the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins and restore you in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Praise God who loves. Praise God who cares. And the collect for today, Mothering Sunday. God of love, passionate and strong, tender and careful, Watch over us and hold us all the days of our life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Over to John. God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. Thank you, O my Father, for giving us your Son and leaving your Spirit till the work on earth is done. Jesus, my Redeemer, name above all names, 
precious Lamb of God, Messiah, oh, for sinners sake. Thank you, oh, my Father, for giving us your Son and leaving your Spirit till a work on earth is done. Stand in glory, I will see his face, and there I'll serve my King forever in that holy place. Thank you, O oh my Father, for giving us your Son, and leaving your Spirit the work on earth is done. And we're going to have our first reading from either Nick or Claire. I'm not sure which one's doing which. So Nick is first. This morning's first reading is Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 3, verses 12. To 17. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. That's one of my favourite readings for weddings. And uh, the reason I love it so much is that is, is that sense of Paul telling us to put on those things. They don't necessarily come very naturally, though, um, forgiveness and um, patience and um, meekness and kindness and compassion but we have to regularly put them on um, like we would put on our clothes each morning um, and I think that's a really lovely illustration I think it's a very helpful illustration for us but um, we're going to move on now to um, to sing again the hymn blessed assurance Jesus is mine so I'm going to Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born with his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Saviour all the day long. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Saviour all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture burst on my sight. 
angels descending, bring from above, echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Saviour all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Saviour all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I in my Saviour am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above. Filled with His goodness, lost in His love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Saviour all the day long. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Saviour all the day long. Our second reading is from John chapter 19, verses 25b to 27. And this is what the soldiers did. Meanwhile, Standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the, to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. This is the word of the Lord. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, good to be joining with you again uh, this week. And uh, some of us here at St. James in Poole are following the unanswered prayer course, exploring what it means when God seems silent. In a video presentation this week, we heard the story of Alan Emerson. In it, he described how the, in the deep darkness of grief, and as he literally lay in the darkness of his bed groaning, his father sat beside him quietly. At one point he said to him that if he could take and carry the pain he felt on his behalf, he would. And this is surely what, at some level or other, what most parents would feel if they see their child at whatever stage of life in pain or in trouble. Watching helplessly hurts. And the natural love of a parent is to want somehow to help carry that load. In our short reading from John's Gospel this morning, we see that despite his pain as he hangs on the cross, Jesus looks down on his mother and out of love and concern asks John to be a son to her. And for Mary to be a mother to John. We can only suppose that as Mary sees her son on the cross and with, as some, um, Simeon prophesied, a, a sword is piercing her soul, she might have exchanged places with Jesus if she could. We perhaps assume that Joseph is no longer around, perhaps has died, and in the absence of a welfare state, Mary needs a supporter and protector. John perhaps needs a mother. I guess that many of us uh, can think of occasions we wish we could share the pain of someone we love through illness, grief, an accident, a bad relationship, a poor life choice, and so on. It's not possible. And usually all we can do is to be with someone or be ready to open the arms of love when someone is ready to reach out. Challenges in families take all sorts of characteristics and 
and arise in pretty much all contexts. We've seen this in the royal family previously and again this week. Fortunately, most of us don't have to work this out in the public glare, but we may have experienced the criticism and judgment of others for not doing the right thing, whatever that might be. I thought the Queen's public statement with great economy of words was powerful and essentially Christian in that it acknowledges a rift but speaks of unbreakable love. She said, Harry, Meghan and Archie will always be much loved family members. I think they were very powerful words. And families take on a variety of characteristics and this in reality is not a new thing. For example, um, there are extended families where the older members care for the children whilst parents work. Children care for the elderly. Aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters, take on the care of the children for a variety of reasons. And where that's not possible, sometimes children are fostered or adopted. Multi-generational families living together for mutual support, sometimes forced on them due to economics, but often part of an accepted culture. Families may be broken or spread out geographically, and friends or neighbours out of love take on the role of companion and carer. Communities are formed within which those who are vulnerable are cared for. Social bubbles are formed in lockdown. The role of a mother figure and indeed father is important in nurture and the best of those characteristics are described in our reading from Colossians and just focusing at the heart of verse 14. Clothe yourselves with love, said St Paul. Clothe yourselves with love. And as we look out into a world of huge diversity of families in their great variety, Mothering Sunday actually brings us to the absolute heart of the good news. See, Jesus died on the cross to take upon himself our sin and waywardness. And by us believing this, he carries on himself the pain and agony of death and separation from God. He defeats it and offers us abundant and eternal life. From the cross itself, he invites Mary and John to care for each other, to be there for each other as he leaves behind his human family. Just so, he invites us into a relationship with the Father, and he makes us right with God. And a verse of scripture sums up what's going on here. In Romans 10, verse 9, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It's a confession with our mouth. Believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead we will be saved. In a world of imperfect relationships, God, who is both father and mother, loves us with a perfect and eternal love. If we confess our sins and our need of him, God does the rest. Again, from Romans, but this time chapter eight, and he says, for I'm sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So today we celebrate the gift of our mothers or whoever has taken that role to love and support us. We celebrate the whole idea of motherhood and what it expresses. We celebrate the willingness of Mary to be the mother of the saviour of the world. We celebrate the Mother Church, a new family of those who believe and those who are seeking refuge, whose head is Jesus Christ, who brings us washed clean to our loving God, who is parent and father and always tells us that we are much loved family members. And there is, of course, then a responsibility of the family members of the church to express that love to others. And so 
Right, in conclusion, I want to issue an invitation to all who are with us on Zoom today, or who may be watching this recording later. You may be committed Christians. You may feel yourself to be a believer, but not fully convinced. You may just be interested. Perhaps you even feel like an outsider looking in. You may be hurting, ill, lonely, sad. The message of Mothering Sunday can speak to you. Jesus loves us as a perfect mother or perfect parent. He sees us in a place where we may be in darkness and we're stuck. He looks on us in pain and wants to share it. He takes our place on the cross. We deserve the consequences of sin and failure, but he takes it on himself. If the pain or nagging doubt is the thing of pointlessness of life, he wants to restore to you the belonging in his family and finding that God does indeed have plans for our life and ultimately the gift of eternal life in his presence. He is the parent who comes alongside us and wants to take our suffering and bring us peace of heart, mind and soul. Maybe you're at a time of life when things are reasonably comfortable and stable. Can I gently invite you to consider that God still wants to, you to discover the riches of knowing him? Don't forget, life can throw surprises at us and we need to be prepared. Countless people down the ages have found him to give hope, comfort, security and purpose in life and even purpose in death. You can call out to God wherever you are, just expressing to him whatever is in your heart. If you're not sure what it is you want, but know you want to respond to his invitation, then it can be as simple as the words we've used earlier in the service. Lord, have mercy on me. Or even, Lord, if you are there, come to me. If that prayer truly comes from our heart, then he will answer. And if you're not sure what to do, but want some help in this, speak to one of us and we'll be pleased to pray with you. We've sent out cards from the church expressing thanks to God for mothers and motherhood. This is also a prayer that God will make his love known to you and bless you. If you didn't get a card, well, then please accept this service as an invitation to find God's blessing and love in your life. As we press forward this year, resetting our lives and relationships, let's each renew our relationship with our loving God and then share that love afresh with our neighbourhood, friends, family, strangers, so that God's love is made known and all hear that gift of love and salvation knowing that he walks alongside us, whatever happens. And just a verse to conclude with, which is referred to in our prayer course. Matthew 5, 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, or blessed are those who know their need of God, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let's use that promise to reassure us as we go forward. Amen. So we're going to, um, as we respond to those words from Tony, we're going to affirm together our faith. So we say together, we believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God, the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen.
as we think of um, the words that we've just heard, we're going to move on to a time of prayer. And as we do so, um, we're going to sing wonderful grace that gives what I don't deserve. Wonderful grace that gives what I don't deserve. Praise me what Christ has earned, then lets me go free. Wonderful grace that gives me the time to change, washes away the stains that once covered me. And all that I have, I lay at the feet of the wonderful Saviour who loves me. Wonderful love that held in the face of death, breathed in its latest breath, forgiveness for me. Wonderful love, whose power can break every chain, giving us life again and setting us free. And all that I have, I lay at the feet of the wonderful Saviour, who loves me. Mothering God, from the sons and daughters gathered today, hear our prayers for the mothers of the world. Nurturing God, we give you thanks for the joys of motherhood and the nurturing we have received from our mothers, for the countless sacrifices they have made for us, for the positive role models they have been, and the love and laughter that has surrounded us. We pray that every mother will know that they are loved and cherished. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Caring God, we thank you for the care we receive from our mothers and mother figures in our lives. Thank you, Lord, that their hearts are big enough, that their arms are long enough, that their words are inspiring and encouraging, that their shoulders are broad enough, that they are brave enough. Help every mother to know, even when they don't think they are, they are enough. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Compassionate God, we ask your blessings for those mothers for whom this time is one of sadness. We pray for those who are estranged from their children or who have a difficult relationship with them. We pray for those who have found themselves unable to care for their children and have seen them taken into care. We pray for those whose children have moved away and have empty nests. We pray for those mourning the loss of their children and those who are mourning the loss of their mothers especially those who are still children themselves. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously Jesus. hear us. Giving God, we pray for new mothers and those awaiting the birth of a child. We thank you that you give mothers the instincts and insights to care for their children, 
and for the knowledge that is shared through generations. We pray for those desperate to have children and are going through fertility treatment. We give thanks for those big hearted mothers who open their hearts and homes to other people's children. And we pray for foster mums, adoptive mums and guardians, as well as those who are going through the fostering and adoption process. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Tender God, we pray for those struggling with the challenges of motherhood, for those suffering with postnatal depression, those struggling with sleep deprivation, those in financial difficulties, those struggling with addictions, those whose child is ill or has additional needs, those who are raising their children in areas of conflict, famine and flood, those who are raising children alone. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. As we come to the end of our prayer time, let us hold a picture of our mothers before us as we pray this prayer together. Heavenly Father, bless every mother and every grandmother with the finest of your spiritual blessings today. Confirm in her heart and spirit the work of her hands and the love she has so freely given to those children under your care. Validate her worth daily so she has no reason to doubt whether she is loved, valued and cherished in the eyes of her Heavenly Father. Amen. And we finish with the Lord's Prayer. As God's children and heirs with Christ, we cry in the Spirit, Abba, Father. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I thought, I know it's a bit difficult to do this, but um, thank you, Claire, for those beautiful prayers. I know it's a bit difficult to do this, but I thought it would be really nice to share the piece with each other today. And I know that's awkward because um, if you can unmute yourself, unmute yourself and we'll have a cacophony of voices as we do it. Um, but um, I just thought it would be nice to try and, and, and say the piece together. So through the prophet Isaiah, God says, as a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Praise God who loves us. Praise God who cares. Do you share the peace with each other? I'm not sure how we do it, but. No, we do. Mm. Peace be with you. Peace be with yeah. you. Peace, peace, you. Peace, everybody. Yeah. 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 Peace be with you. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace be with you. Yeah. I like peace. that, Sandy and Rob. Peace mm. be with you. Okay. Right. It wouldn't be Mothering Sunday without singing the great hymn of Mary, the Magnificat, um, in but written beautifully by Timothy Dudley Smith, Bishop Timothy Dudley Smith, um, that hymn of praise, tell out my soul, the greatness of the Lord. So we're going to finish with that hymn. Once I just ask everybody, if you've not already done it, to mute yourselves, please. <laughs>
Thank I'll you. just check they're all muted. Oh no, I'll mute everybody. Thank you. Tell out my soul. Hold on. Lucy, you've muted John. John, you're uh, <laughs> The problem is he can't see. Frank, can you run down and tell him that he's unmuted? That he's on mute? He's, uh, he's there. I've, I've seen it now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can everybody hear me? Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Sorry. Let's try again. Tell out my soul. my soul the greatness of the Lord unnumbered blessings give my spirit voice tender to me the promise of his word in God my Saviour shall my heart rejoice tell out my soul the greatness of his name make known his might his deed his arm has done his mercy sure from age to age the same his holy name the lord the mighty one tell out my soul the greatness of his might and dominions lay their glory by proud hearts and stubborn wills are put to flight the hungry fed the humble lifted high tell out my soul the glories of his word firm is his promise and his mercy sure tell out my soul the greatness of the lord to children's children and forevermore so we come to the end of our service um thank you for joining us it's been great to to be together and um i just want to wish frank a really happy birthday tomorrow and thank you it's lovely it's so lovely to have you with us frank we do so appreciate having you with us so thank i really you. hope you have a lovely day today and um because i know you're celebrating your birthday today because it's a school day tomorrow but um yeah and enjoy your mint chocolate cheesecake sounds yummy so we're going to finish with our um, closing words shine in our lives warm us with courage keep us close to you shine in our lives light up your darkness keep us close to you shine in our lives sweeten our sadness keep us close to you shine in our lives raise us up to glory keep us close to you and so may the peace of god which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds and the knowledge and love of god and of his son jesus christ our lord and the blessing of god almighty the father the son and the holy spirit be among you and all those whom you love and all those whom you pray for and remain with you forevermore. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.
thank you all. I'm going to stop recording now. <laughs>